Hello everybody, my name is Fletcher Shabuna Isaac Berry from Berry Time Class and today we are going to be looking at sound waves. Now, what are sound waves? Well, we know, uh, here's a summary. Sound waves are basically a compression of air. It's a, mecha it's a mechanical wave in the category of being longitudinal, which means that the effect is in the same, is parallel or is in the same direction as the disturbance that caused the effect. So, sound is basically the compression and expansion of air. Now, let's get on to how this works. There are many types of waves. So let's draw all types of waves. Waves can be split into two, three categories, although one of them is ba very basic. Electromagnetic waves are waves like a uh, light that are, uh, don't need any medium. So their special characteristic is that they can be mediumless. For example, light is an electromagnetic wave. You're seeing because of an electromagnetic wave. You can see in space because even though there's no, uh, you know, like medium for the light to traverse through, it doesn't need a medium. So, and now we know what. So now, so now, a longitudinal wave, and then let's say we have a lighter here. That would be the trough, which is like expanding, and then compression and expansion again. Not quite good, but I'd say fine. How is this a longitudinal wave? Well, wait, what? How is this a longitudinal wave? Well, because the disturbance is the hand moving sideways. And so, the hand moving sideways is in, in the parallel direction that the slinky makes these funky little shapes. So, now, uh, sound waves work the same way. There's a, there's a little bit of, of stuff where there's a bunch of particles, and then there's a lot of stuff where there's a little particles, and then uh, everything repeats. I'm not going to be able to draw that all again, so... Let's copy and paste that. And what the move you that over here. So you can see that you have this kind of thing. And so let's draw a wave model based on it. The crest would be during the compression. The trough would be during the expansion. So on. And so on. <coughs> so here's a model of the wave based on this graph. Now sound waves are in everything. Uh, phones have a little thing called a diaphragm, not going to be confused with the diaphragm in the human body and an animal that makes a sound. And it's made of written plastic. And that uh, rigid plastic vibrates to make a signal or sound, uh, when a special sound, whenever a signal comes to it that something has happened. When it, uh, if it's a text message, a call, or a post from one of your favorite uh, YouTubers, it will all lead to the vibration of the diaphragm. So, uh, now you know how, what sound waves are 
and thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we last time we did harmonics. Today we've done sound wave, and we will see you. you did not write condens condensation and re reaffection. Oh yeah. Wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. Write it down. Write them down. Oh yeah. Okay. So there are some uh, relatively unused terms for uh, the compression and expansion. Compre uh, compression is also called condensation. Condensation and expansion can also be called rarefaction. So, the, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Today we've learned sound waves, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to tell you that this video was sponsored by Brilliant. Check it out. So now...